the news updates. Onam Dekano is a leader of terrorist organization. He is a criminal, deserves to rot in jail. Azabi Dokubo says, Welcome to today's news. And thank you for tuning in to this news. But please do well to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and also the bell for more updates. Now to the news details. Please listen carefully to the end. In reaction to the statements made by Azari Dokubo, many concerned individuals have stormed the media page to share their views. Azari Dokubo, at about 10 hours ago, insisted that the president of the country, Bola Hamed Tinubu, should not release, but make sure that Unam Dekano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Hypop, continues to be in the custody of the DSS for a very long time. In a statement, he gave several reasons as to why the Nigerian government should not think of releasing Unam Dekano to his family or his people. Remember that on June 29, 2021, Onamdekano, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP group, was repatriated to Nigeria by the Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, through the help of Interpol. Onamdekano was said to have been repatriated to Nigeria from Kenya after he allegedly fled the country in 2017. The report indicated that while abroad, Onam Dekano made several claims which are against what Nigeria stands for. Also, he was alleged to have called the president, Momo Dupuari, several names while abroad. And due to this and several other reasons, he was brought to Nigeria to continue his trial from where it stopped in 2017. Since his repatriation, Unam Dekano has been made to appear in several trials. In a recent trial, the appeal court ordered the release of Unam Dekano while also setting aside all charges filed against him by the Nigerian government due to the mode of his repatriation into Nigeria. Rather than release Unam Dekano, the Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, filed a stay of execution to stay the order of the courts. At the time of writing this, Unam Dekano and his lawyers are patiently waiting for the judgment of the Supreme Court regaining the release or continuous detention of the IPOP leader. In the middle of this, some governors in southeast region of Nigeria, Peter Humba and Chuke Mika Soludo, have on several occasions called for the release of Unam Dekano and have also met with the president of the country to help them with, the, with his release. While the president has said nothing about the arrest and detention of Unam Dekano, a recent guest told Bola Tenumbu on Friday, June 16, to reject the call for the release of Unam Dekano because he, Unam Dekano, is a criminal. A statement has attracted the attention of many Nigerians. A man identified as Desi took to his media page to react to the statement made by Azari Dokubo. He said, Unam Dekano is a leader of a terrorist organization. Mazo Unam Dekano is a criminal and he deserves to rot in jail. Mazo Unam Dekano, who is the leader of IPOP, has been tagged a criminal. But who are you to call him a criminal? Because Unam Dekano is not a criminal. What he is doing is agitating for a state of Biafra, a peaceful agitation whereby it is some process, some people who want to uh, want the nation to see IPOP as a terrorist organization are taking the, the agitation 
and other way round. But Unam Dikanu will never do or hurt his fellow Igbos. Unlike Azabi Dokubo, who said he's an Igbo, but he is not supporting Igbo. Ever since Mazunam Dikanu has been repatriated to Nigeria, despite the fact that the court has given him an, a, a, an order to be released, the AGF had to take it to the Supreme Court. And he has been seen in different court orders, different courtrooms. But they keep postponing his his court is is pardon, they keep postponing his case in the courts. And because of the love in which the South East governors are for Unam Dekano and the belief that if he is released, peace will come back to the states and it's going to be a good thing for the nation. They have pleaded with the past president, Mohamed Bouari, he did not answer and now they pleaded with the recent president, Tunumbu, to actually release Mazu Nam Dekanu, that Mazu Nam Dekanu will not do any agitation again and Mazu Nam Dekanu is not the one behind the terrorism that is going on in the southeast. But remember that during the administration of President Momodo Buhari, Charles Soludo himself has vouched for the president that he should release Mazunam Dekano to him. The once he is released to him, that everything will go back to normal. Unam Dekano will, will continue to be a good man that he is and everything will be fine. The Southeast will not even be hurt again. But the former president turned deaf ears to it. Now it is not the turn of the president, Tenumbu, to listen to them. But this statement that was made by this man, that Unabigan is a leader of a terrorist organization, what are his proofs? What proof does he have? What evidence does he have to prove that truly is a terrorist, is a leader of a terrorist organization and is a criminal and he deserves to rot in jail? Why should he be rot in jail? Is he not a human like you and like him? Where will you want your fellow person who is agitating for a state of Biafra, a peaceful agitation, to rot in jail? Because if it is your f- blood brother, you will not say he should rot in jail and you will not call him a criminal. So it is criminals that are no criminals. So Unam Dekano is not a criminal. We have come to the end of the news. Dear listeners, what's your view to what this man has said? Please share your view in the comment section. Thank you.